Welcome to our video on mitosis and cellular division. In our last video, we discussed the cell cycle and the controls on growth in healthy cells, as well as what happens when cells lose their ability to recognize their growth regulators. We mentioned mitosis and cytokinesis as part of the cell cycle, and in this video, we'll focus on the details of these two processes. So after we've completed interphase, as cells prepare to enter the stages of mitosis, PMAT, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The stages of mitosis are nuclear division. At the end of interphase, a cell is ready for mitosis. The chromosomes are in the duplicated state. The first phase of mitosis is prophase. And during prophase, the centrioles are going to move to opposite ends of the, of the cell on either side of the nucleus. The chromosomes, which are in the duplicated state, are going to shorten and thicken, and the nuclear envelope surrounding the chromosomes will begin to break down. We can see the mitotic spindle beginning to form, these protein fibers which will direct the chromosomes during this process. The cytoskeleton elements are going to break down, allowing the cell to change shape. The thickening of these chromosomes, the thickening and shortening of them, are going to make them easier to kind of move around and separate. If we go back to this picture, we can see the chromatin, these long thin threads, fibers of DNA. Uh, and if we tried to separate all those little threads, it would easily uh, become difficult to kind of untangle them. So during prophase, those chromosomes will shorten and thicken into uh, structures that are much easier to move about. After prophase, we have metaphase. And think of metaphase, think of middle, meta-middle. The duplicated chromosomes line up on the equator of the cell. We can see them here in this slide. And the spindle fibers, these protein threads, will attach to the kinetochores, these areas where the two chromosomes are attached. After metaphase, we move to anaphase. And it's in the anaphase when the sister chromatids, the duplicated chromosomes, are separated into their individual pieces. We call this process of the dividing up of the genetic material karyokinesis. The chromosomes actually travel back along these mitotic spindle fibers. They kind of walk back uh, along them and pull apart from each other towards opposite poles of the, of the cell. After anaphase, we have telophase. In telophase, the chromosomes have reached the opposite poles of the cell, and we start to build a new nuclear envelope around each uh, group of genetic material. And so at the end of telophase, we have two distinct nuclei, and we have officially ended mitosis. Now you can see by the shape of this cell that the process of cytokinesis is already beginning before mitosis is over. But once we have these two nuclei, we have officially finished nuclear division. And so at the end of telophase, we have two nuclei, but only one cell. We can see that the mitotic spindle has broken down now, and the uh, cytoskeletons will reform in each of these uh, sides here. And most of the time, following telophase will be cytokinesis, or dividing up of the cell. And we're going to see in just a moment how this is different in animal and plant cells. But first, let's walk through those stages again using some uh, slides of cells, uh, real cells, instead of those drawings. Uh, on this side, we have an onion root cell, so we see the example from a plant cell. And over here, we have an animal cell, a white fist blastula. So during prophase, chromosomes shorten and thicken, nuclear envelopes break down, and spindle fibers begin to form. Here's later in prophase of a, in an onion root cell. From prophase to metaphase, we move those chromosomes to the equator of the cell. Very easy to see here. And in this picture, you can even see the spindle fibers forming. It's hard to, uh, maybe hard to see them, but you can probably see them in there. From metaphase to anaphase, when the sister chromatids pull apart, the separation of the sister chromatids called karyokinesis. And from anaphase to telophase, as we form two nuclei, uh, two compartments around those uh, collection of genetic material. By the end of telophase, again, we have two nuclei, but only one cell. Now that we divided the uh, replicated DNA into two separate nuclei, let's talk about how we divide this into two different cells, or cytokinesis. And we said that cytokinesis will be different in plant cells and animal cells. In animal cells, we form a cleavage furrow, or an 
indentation as the cell takes on kind of a peanut shaped. Uh, imagine if you put a belt around the middle of a balloon and started tightening up, squeezing it uh, tighter and tighter, pinching the sides in. We call this indentation a cleavage furrow. But since plant cells have a rigid cell wall around them, we have to have a different process. We have to build a cell wall from the middle out. Uh, and this building of the cell wall, this section here is called the cell plate. So let's follow this process and see it happen for an animal cell and a plant cell. As we move through, we can see the cleavage furrow getting uh, indenting further and further, and we can see the cell plate extending from the middle out until it eventually will break the cell into two. And we have finished cytokinesis, and we have two cells. The next thing we need to do is talk about why, or what's the purpose? What are we accomplishing by dividing a cell? Well, what if you're a single-celled organism and you undergo this process of mitosis and cell division? For you, that would be reproduction. But in a multicellular organism, uh, mitosis and cell division can be used for growth, maintenance, and replacement of body parts. Obviously, you're not the size now that you always were. You've, you've grown into that size, and you had to add cells to do that. But we don't just use it to grow. We also have to maintain. Many of our cells will wear out. Think of skin cells or cells that are in parts of the body that take a lot of wear and tear. They have to constantly be, be, uh, constantly be replaced. Whereas other cells, like your neurons, you, know, you have all that you're going to have when you're born, and they're going to last you your lifetime. Mitotos mitosis and cell, uh, cell division can also be used uh, to just regenerate body parts that have been lost. For example, uh, this lizard has lost its tail and it will regrow that body part. And here we see a starfish that can regrow an arm and regenerate that, uh, replacing it by building new cells. So that ends our discussion on mitosis and cell division. Uh, go back and, and slowly go through the, uh, the stages of mitosis. Make sure you know what happens during each stage and certainly the order that they come in. And also review uh, the differences between uh, cytokinesis in an animal cell and a plant cell.